What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's that time of the month again, the beginning of the month, where we do horror icon mashup. We take two of the most well-known horror icons in all of horror, whether it's movies, TV, creepypastas, urban legends, you name it, <laughs> we're doing it. And this one, the reason why I said creepypastas in specific, because this one uh, comes from some urban legends and creepypastas of themselves, and that is Slenderman <laughs> versus the Babadook. Um, I chose Slenderman, Rob chose the Babadook. We don't know each other's kind of points we're going to do, um, so we're going to... Lay out the challenge, see who would win in a fight, and then it comes down to you, the audience, to see who ultimately wins the fight. And last month's was Leatherface versus Art the Clown. Um, my dumbass forgot to take the screenshots of the Instagram, but I do remember that Art the Clown was <laughs> winning that one. Actually, no, it was Leatherface that was winning that one, and Art the Clown that was winning the Twitter poll. So again, it was another 50-50. Um, yeah, I find that find that very interesting. These the I mean I guess these fans I mean eventually down the line when we become bigger, and I'm talking about when we're in like the tens of thousands of subscribers. Um, that's right. That's right. I want to make I want to go back and reshoot like all these live action. That'd be really fun to see kind of have a, like an actual matchup. You know what I mean? That'd be really cool. <laughs> um, that's cool. You know, Bat in the Sun has their superhero mashups with you know marvel and dc people why can't we do horror icon mashups you know what i mean so yeah i'm all for that i'm sure i'm sure with the right camera angles i could do a good leather face even though we're about a foot difference in height but <laughs> i think it would be a good leather face like it wouldn't even matter i think it would just be like i mean yeah on camera you can make anyone look tall i mean look at yeah Look at freaking who's in a good example that Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they make that guy look hella tall. So I think we can, I think we, can <laughs> we can we can work around. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, it'd be fun. We could do it. Um, I would love to play Art the Clown, or uh, I, what other ones have we done? Jason versus Michael. Um, what other ones have we done? Yeah, I I I could I could see you as a good uh a good Jason. Yeah. Uh, I've also done Freddy versus Pinhead. That would be a fun one to accomplish. Be a good yeah. Pinhead. Or uh, what was the one we did before Leatherface versus Art? We did another one, didn't we? Oh, it was, it was a Ghostface versus, versus Jigsaw. Um, Jigsaw. Yeah. So that could see we can hire some people to do those ones, or I can just throw on the Ghostface costume and boom. Unless we're showing the actual characters, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do <laughs> the characters. Uh, but today, Slenderman versus. Babadook, Slenderman, the internet sensation of 2012, and the Babadook, uh, most recently, as of a couple years ago, had his own film and was kind of blowing up for a little bit. Another urban legend out there. Um, so let's just jump right into it. All right, I'm gonna let you start this one. What's your opening argument for the Babadook? <laughs> well, see, here's the thing uh, with the Babadook is uh, I'm gonna just break it down. Uh, the Babadook is pretty much a version of the boogeyman now uh i don't know about you but i feel like growing up there there's been a boogeyman in all of our lives whether it be a real boogeyman or something that was under our bed that could have been real but the babadook is this type of boogeyman and uh the thing that i feel like stands out about the babadook is he feeds on fear and um which could be it could be a pro or a con but he feeds on fear and his goal is to drive you almost insane so he can feed on that fear so he can gain more power um and in saying that i don't know i, I feel like even things that are scary sometimes uh uh show a little fear so with that i'm gonna say there's no one or no, and there's nothing that doesn't get afraid and the Babadook thrives and feeds on your fear, on your worry. And that's where he kind of lives and that's his lane. And that's where he draws his power from. So that's, that's kind of my opening argument right there for the Babadook. It's funny that you bring up, uh, everyone has something to fear except this yes. particular character. I've never seen this character fear anything. I've pe seen people mm -hmm. fear him. Um, and much ways like you brought up, um, he, you know, Babadook makes people go, um, insane. This character does the same way. 
uh, Slender Man. Now, obviously, there's been so many adaptations of this pers- of this character, uh, mm-hmm. but the most you know the most iconic one that everyone knows is the tall, slender looking man. I Slender Man, um, <laughs> who wears a nice. I mean, the guy dresses fucking sharp dude he wears a suit yeah and he's got a white face and white hands no skin showing um that is the most famous adaptation but this urban legend goes all the way back to like like thousands and thousands of years and different cultures have had their own adaptations of them like in brit uh, uh, like in the uk you know uh, scotland has one germany has one everyone has their own adaptation of Slender Man, uh, it may look a little different, but in, in most ways described, it's about the same concept. Uh, obviously, the American version, that's the one we know with the nice suit and the, the white face and everything. Uh, but he haunts his victims by stalking them. Uh, most, you know, most notably, if you guys paid attention back in 2012 when these, when these videos and everything were blowing up, a lot of the setting was in forests and and kind of that nature, so like the countryside. Um, but I have seen him pop up in houses and other places besides the forest. Um, he also will pretty much hunt just about anyone, but he loves to hunt kids for some reason. Um, he, I think he gets like a... Uh, kind of like the hunger for the kids are just a lot better than regular people, much like how Pennywise is with the kids. He likes to eat their fear, and he says that the kids' fear tastes a lot better than adult fear. Um, So I think that just seeing that, I mean, if you've seen pictures, if you've seen any, you know, videos or anything, you see a lot of kids go missing. A lot of people don't know where they end up. Um, it, it seems like he has this like cult of kids. Usually, when you see some of these videos of just kind of surrounding him, kind of like something like uh, I I think that's maybe where Sinister got their inspiration from, uh, from Blumhouse. Okay. okay. Um, because it's kind of the same concept of of the ki- you know him possessing the kids to make them kill their parents or kill people or something, and them kind of joining this sinister kind of cult, uh, following this like demon around. Um, so I, I think that's a creepy fact because if you see like kids who are possessed in films, it's terrifying and that is terrifying. (laughs) If you see that in real life, you know, when you're just walking around kind of chilling and then that's all you see that that's terrifying as well. Um, but I think that, that Slender Man would probably beat Babadook in a fight because the guy don't fear nothing, man. And the guy, I mean, from teleportation to, (laughs) appearing out of thin air like this guy is pretty much unstoppable i've never seen anyone beat him well uh mr anthony those are excellent arguments and excellent points that you were making but um everything you're saying it sounds very familiar and uh i'm gonna say it sounds like it's almost uh a certain it's almost not like i'm not gonna say a copy or or it just it reminds me of something else that I would call the boogeyman and the Babadook is also can teleport he also here's the thing maybe Slenderman does not get uh, afraid of anything but the Babadook doesn't meet, need Slenderman's fear to become powerful he can scare other people and that would feed his power um so this is why in my opinion, I think the Babadook has just a slight edge is that he just not only goes for children, he goes for adults. And I feel like sometimes maybe adults, adults carry a lot more of the baggage and a lot more of the, you know, kind of the trauma. And he knows this and he feeds on this and he just doesn't need to attack the Slender Man by trying to make him afraid. He can use anyone's fear to attack the slender man so i think although you're making great points for the slender man and the battle that he would put up against the babadook i think just just by a hair the babadook might edge the slender man out now i don't know how the babadook does with kills but from every kind mm. of case i've seen with slender man his kills are both clean and and can never be found. I don't know where he takes these kids. I don't know where he takes these people. 
but I've never seen a body pop up with Slender Man. So that's pretty creepy. Um, Slender Man is also known, if, if you go to a forest and if you're trying to look for him, he's also known for leaving these creepy notes behind. Pretty much if you find them, he's, he's kind of watching you at that point. So he's kind of playing a game with you to try to get to you. He, that's where he starts his first kind of breaking you down, your, breaking your sanity down. Another thing I like about Slender Man is he likes to uh, distort video and audio a lot. So the guy doesn't really want to be seen or he doesn't want to be filmed or, <laughs> you know, he doesn't want he doesn't want any evidence of him being around pretty much uh, from what we can tell from video games. Oh, man, here we go. Can you hear me still? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. It says Internet connection is unstable. That's why it's it's starting to become like the beginning of the end almost. Um, but, <laughs> you know, distorted video audio. And footage, man. That might be Slender Man. That's creepy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, he can transform his body to uh, shoot out extra kind of arms in a way that I've seen on most videos, which I think that's creepy of its mm -hmm. own. And they kind of look like um, like clothy in a way, but they that's how he kind of lures you in and pulls you in to, to, ca to get the kill, to get the possession whatever he wants um he's also a creepy pasta legend man the guy goes down for probably the most popular creepy pasta out there in the world he's had countless movies made after him um and if you want to get real uh if you remember back then and this is not kind of like points to his side but this shows you how real this is taken to the real world of this urban legend there was that that killing that happened with those two girls. Um, I do remember that. So that shows you how much sanity is broken down in real life too. You know what I mean? Like they, they went to an extent where they thought if they did this, that they would please him and everything. And I mean, that's just, I mean, that's creepy on its own. I mean, I'm not putting that points to my, yes, it is. I'm just making an example of how much. Yes. Yes. Real world. Uh, trauma that this character has brought to people. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's uh, you you make you make very very valid points, a very strong argument for the Slender Man. But I feel like, as I said, um, the Babadook just by a hair kind of nudges over the Slender Man, just because, in my opinion. I feel like the Slender Man is uh, not, I'm not going to say a copy because I'm going to give more respect to the, the Slender Man itself. But I feel like the Babadook is the original. He's what, what your scary dreams and what your, your scary stories are kind of derived from. So in saying that, um, that is my, my argument for the Babadook. So let's, uh, let's give the viewers a little visual and let's set the scene here. Let's do it. We have two people walking into a forest late at night. Don't mm -hmm. know why. That's just your typical horror movie thing right there. Yep, that's how it starts. That's how it all starts. Uh, and they're walking, and all of a sudden, they see this slender figure in the distance. And as they see that figure, they look on the floor and notice a deranged note that is found usually when Slender Man is around. They mm -hmm. get creeped out by this, so they start running the other way. But in the distance in the other way, we have another oddly shaped figure kind of stalking them in the night. Uh, and let's just say this is the Babadook right here. The Babadook okay. Okay. ends up uh, taking these victims. And Slenderman don't like that. He gets very pissed. <laughs> so then we have ourselves a little Freddy versus Jason action here where Slenderman goes full on charge against the Babadook. They go on charge to each other and it's a teleportation frenzy. They're teleporting all over the forest. <laughs> Slender Man's got him wrapped in his arms at one point. He teleports out um, with the fear he just gotten from those victims. Babadook trying to power him down a little bit doesn't work because Slender Man kind of throws him off guard um, ends up fighting each other and it's pretty much a fight to the death. The funny part is since these both are entities of some sort there is really no fight to the death this fight will last probably eternity um 
So for the next eternity, they're just going to be duking it out in the forest until they finally get bored of each other and then go back to the respective natures of how they're doing that. Maybe come to a, an agreement, a deal, like, hey, you get this side of the state, I'll take this side of the state. Boom. Compromise. I like that. I like that. Maybe they just have like a nice little, like, you know, little tea session, you know, little little coffee cake. And just like, hey, bro, you know, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's, 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 let's just, let's, let's, let's just sell yeah. Them. Um, yeah, yeah, and then we we get like a uh, we get like a slender Baduke or something. Yeah, maybe they combine forces and they become one. But yeah, that works. <laughs> with that, I mean, that was kind of a funny ending. I mean, I would, <laughs> I, would, I would have to if I were to write that, I would have to like go into more detail as to who would end up being the victor, and that would ultimately come down to you guys. And this is where you guys come in. Who do you think would win in a fight between this horror icon frenzy right here? Would it be the Slender Man or would it be the Baba Duke? I will put up a Instagram poll today and a Twitter poll. I want you guys to vote. You get 24 hours to vote, and after that, voting closes off, and we will reveal the results for the next episode. So far, you guys have been two for two on the 50-50s, so I'm curious to see what you guys think on this one. Who wins in the fight, Slender Man or the Baba Duke? Or also leave it in the comment section below. Who do you think would win in the fight? Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Horror Icon Mashup. Leave that like button if you guys really did enjoy that and you want to see more of these. Uh, we release one once at the beginning of every month. Um, with that being said, I have to announce the next. I got to get my trusty papers here. Got to get the uh, here next, we go. Here um, we go. Horror Icon Mashup for the month of April. And that is which one is it right here? Here we go. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a fun, and I'm cool to have whatever one, honestly, because I like both of these films. I know a lot about these films. The Alien from Thing versus the Xenomorph from Alien. Ooh. Who will win in that amazing Ooh. fight? Both have their respective weaknesses. Both have similar weaknesses. But, Rob, who do you got? Man, that that's a tough one. Here, Here's the thing. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and give, I feel like, I mean, I know you said, you, you know, you know about both of them, but I, I personally, cause I know you, I know your strengths. Um, I am going to go with Z the Xenomorph and you can take the alien from thing, the thing. I guess you don't know me well enough then. <sighs> <laughs> cause I was really hoping you were going to say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You Man, I set myself I set myself up for that one. <laughs> I know I set myself. Here's the thing. Here's the thing is I want you to push me so I can push you and we can come together and see who would really win. Yeah, you heard it here, guys. I got the thing. Rob's got the xenomorph. We'll see you guys next month for another episode of Horror Icon Mashup. See you soon. You're moving into a dimension.